All right, guys, so we're back for part two of our Panini Score Retreat openings. So in the first video, we opened 20 packs, and in this one, we're finishing them off. So let's just hop right into it. So um, here are the packs. As I mentioned in the previous video, pretty thin. There's three cards per pack. Uh, each set comes with 40 packs, so you're getting uh, 120 cards inside one of these sets. Um, we've had some pretty fun, like, uh, cards that we've pulled so far. Some of the highlights were, um, like, Jared Burst for me. The Rams players, really. Blake Corum, uh, Puka Nakua, but we also did pull Marvin Harrison. Still haven't seen any um, of the rookie QBs that we wanted. We did get... Drake May, but I wanted to pull a Caleb Williams or a Jaden Daniels. So, still hoping for that. We've got 20, 20 packs to get through. Hopefully, we can get both of them. But, really, I think I'd prefer Daniels. But, I'm fine with, with either of them. So, let's go ahead and just keep pulling through these. So, uh, and I think in the first video, I was having some... Not trouble, I just, the, the packs are so thin, and then honestly the cards feel a bit thin. So I really didn't want to damage the cards inside. I was having a bit of trouble with the packs. But other than that, it's been pretty fun. So, starting off with Bruce Smith. And you will notice um, some of these cards have the orange border and then you've got some with the green so our rising star rookie running back trey benson so he's behind uh connor but if connor goes down then we we've, we've got trey benson coming up right and then you've got Derek stingley jr from the texans okay into our next pack so This is the one where we pull Jaden Daniels, hopefully. We've got Harrison Smith from the Vikings. Michael Penix Jr. That whole situation with him and the Falcons was wild, right? Like, no one expected him to go to the Falcons, who had just signed Kirk Cousins. And I honestly thought he'd end up with the Raiders... But I guess that's not really the, the case, right? And you've got Miles Sanders here. It's a pretty cool card, though. Good pull. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. Got a Cam Hayward. Bucky Irving. And there's the back. And here's one we hadn't pulled. Tyree Kill. Very cool. All right. I mean, Tyreek's been really thriving with with Miami. Honestly, if they were to make the playoffs, I, I still think there, there's something missing there. I don't know that I could see them making it all the way. But I guess we'll see. All right, so we've got Darius Slay Jr. I love that Kelly Green uniform that the Eagles have. Bo Nix. Bonix, it's gonna be fun to watch him with the Broncos, see what they they're able to pull off with him. And then another Bronco, Javante Williams, someone who I was really excited about when he joined the league. Unfortunately, went down with injury, and I mean he didn't do too bad last season, but he obviously coming back from the injury and just the whole team kind of falling apart around him. I think didn't contribute. Uh, we'll see 
if we could get that old Javante back this season, right? Okay. Will Levis. So, rookie last year. It'll be interesting to see what he could do with Calvin Ridley. If Hopkins can make it back from injury. We'll see what can happen there. Malik Neighbors. Very cool. Fortunately stuck with Daniel Jones, but I mean, we'll, we'll see if he could make something happen. Quentin Portis. Honestly, I mean, if you're a Giants fan, I, I feel for you. That whole situation is rough, especially if you watched that Friday night game with with Saquon just... Oh, man. He, he, I mean, he was going off. That's got to hurt as a Giants fan, knowing that he was on your team and you could have kept him. Okay, Jalen... I don't even know how to say his last name. Safety for the Houston Texans. Brian Thomas Jr. will be fun to watch. Hopefully he can pull ahead and contribute to that Jacksonville offense. And then Raheem Mostert. He's part of that one-two punch that they have down in Miami. Him and Hee-Chan. Okay, let's see what we've got in our next pack. Micah Hyde. Okay. Jonathan Brooks, who... I don't believe he'll be starting the season, but it'll be interesting once he's once he's good to go. I mean, the the Panthers definitely need him. They need all the help they can get. And then we've got Marshall Falk, so running back for the Rams, back when they were in St. Louis. Next pack. I love the design at the front too. It's very cool. We've got Jalen Warren, who looked to be splitting time in the backfield with Najee Harris. Unfortunately, now is injured. Going to miss some of the start of the season. And Marvin Harrison Jr. This is our second one. We did pull one in that first video. And he should be having a good season. And then Andre Johnson. Okay, we'll keep going. That, that ends pretty glued together, so I guess we'll move down to the bottom. See if we can get this one open. There we go. Okay, we've got Danny White. Cowboys. Another Malik Neighbors. And then Andre Tippett. That's the classic Patriots logo, right? Oops. Okay, next pack. Unfortunately, still no Caleb Williams, no Jaden Daniels. But there's still hope. We've got quite a bit of packs to go through. Javon Holland. Another Michael Penix Jr. And Justin Herbert. It'll be interesting to see what Herbert does this season. I know there is concern with, you know, kind of the lack of weapons. He lost Keenan Allen and uh, Mike Williams got traded to the Jets, if I remember. I don't know if he was traded, but he ended up with the Jets. 
So really it'll be Lad McConkey. We still are Josh Palmer. Okay, we've got Rashad White. Nice, another Blake Corum. Some added power to that Rams running running back room along with Kyron. And then we've got Kate Otten. I think the Rams are honest. I think it's my team, but they're going to surprise a lot of people. I think last year they did a pretty good job of that. I don't think anyone was really counting them in. So, I mean, they made it to the playoffs, and we're missing Aaron Donald, but honestly, I, I think the team's pretty solid. Jonathan Taylor. There's the back of that. Devontez Walker. And then we've got Bernie Kozar, quarterback for the Browns. Not too familiar with him. Okay, there we go. All right, we've got Kyle Pitts, who, if you're a fantasy player, We've been waiting for him to pop off. So hopefully Kirk Cousins could get it done with him. I think they, they will. Kirk Cousins uh, did pretty good um, by his tight end in uh, Minnesota. Malik Neighbors. I think the last one we pulled was a green one. So we got that orange border. And then Ramon J. Ramondre Stevenson. But yeah, finish my thought. Yeah, um, Hutchinson and Kirk Cousins did pretty well together. So hopefully Kyle Pitts can as well. He's not on any of my fantasy teams, so. But it'll be interesting to see if he finally pays off, right? Okay, we've got Najee Harris. So earlier we earlier we did pull uh, Jalen Warren. We've got another Spencer Rattler. And we've got Jamal Williams, another Saint. Okay, it looks like we've got about is that two, three, four, five, six packs left. So, about the halfway point. Well, no. Actually, we had 20 picks, so now we're way, we're way past the halfway point. What am I thinking? Okay, Terry McLaurin. Scary Terry. Halloween edition. Very cool. Always been a big fan of him. Both in fantasy, but just watching him on the field. Hopefully, him and Jaden Daniels can make it work. We've got another Brock Bowers card. And then we've got another Danny White. Okay. And then... Next pack. Yeah, this is the one where we pull... Jaden Daniels. So we've got Mike Rabel. Brabel. <laughs> totally mispronounced that. Okay, who's now coaching. And then Audrey Castime. I know we had pulled him before. I don't remember if it was the orange or the green. And then Curtis Samuel, who's actually with the Bills now. And here, pictured in commander's gear. Unfortunately, always struggling with injury. Okay. Oops, looks like we got stuck there. Oh, very cool. Kobe Turner. 
He's been a huge impact player. That is awesome. Chop Robinson. He's over with the Dolphins. And then Mike Gusecki. He's now with the Bengals. So he's been hopping around a few teams as well. Okay, we've got three packs left. Three packs, three shots at Jaden Daniels. We've got Wesley Walls, tight end for the Panthers. Ricky Pearsall, who unfortunately went through a scary situation. Just glad to hear that, you know, he's safe, that he's doing all right. And then we've got Everson Walls. Okay. Two packs to go. So. One of these will be Jaden Daniels. Pukunakua. Always happy to have another one of his. And we get another Bo Nix. <laughs> All right. And then Montez Sweat. We got to flip these around. Put it in the wrong spot. There we go. All right. Last pack. Unfortunately, you're only getting one Rising Star. I'm a rookie per pack, so we will not get Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels. Hopefully one of them. We've got Dre Greenlaw for the Niners. And our last rookie is Jalen Polk with the Patriots. And then we end up with Justin Jefferson. Okay, so <laughs> that's a, a strong strong card to end on. Positive note there. Very cool. All right. Well, we made it through all 40 packs. If I end up coming across another one, I might consider picking one up to open. I, ideally, I just want to pick one up to hand out. That, I think that would be fun for all the kids that are going to be out trick-or-treating and our fans of the NFL. Nice little surprise in there, in there for them, right? Anyways, I, I had a good time opening these, happy with, with the pools. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.